What's going on YouTube man? Welcome back to the channel man and today we are talking about mods under a hundred dollars. So let's go ahead and jump right in, no wasting time. Go ahead and matter of fact, go ahead and hit that like button, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and jump right in it. Alright guys, this right here is my 2017 Ford F-150. It is on a 8 inch FTS lift kit on 24 x 14 TIS wheels, 36, 14, 50 versatiles. That's for the guys that don't know it and new to the channel. And also, I forgot to mention this is an 8 inch FTS lift kit, powder coated Illusion Blueberry. All right, so as you can see, the guy today is a wet and foggy day out here today. So, we're gonna try and go through this pretty quick. So, let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's start with the very first thing. First thing you can do to your truck right now for less than a hundred dollars. You can get you some LED lights, you can put it all the way around the truck, and it'll brighten up the truck and give it a nice and bright look. As you guys can see right here, I got it. I got the LED lights all the way around. Let me see. Let me open up a door. There we go. You can see it right there. And those are the last fit bulbs. I got them right here on my license plate light as well. And they look pretty damn good, man. I, I'm pretty happy with how they look. And just so you guys know, you can go down to the link in the description and get you a set of these bulbs for your truck. I got them on my fault lights as well. Back to the truck. The price for these, uh, for those bulbs is going to run you anywhere from i'll say twelve dollars and up basically um you might spend a little less for the ones that's on the back right here on the cargo lights and on the the license plate lights so it just all depends i'll leave a link to those down in the description below now this very next thing is also a must it's one of those things i feel like you have to do to your truck man when you first get it or it's like one of those first few mods that you do to your truck it was definitely one of mine and it is switch out that long antenna you have to do it it is almost necessary that thing could just be bouncing everywhere. If you don't get a bullet antenna, get you a short stubby antenna. This right here is a 50 cal bullet antenna. I got this off of Amazon. I think at the time I purchased it, I paid around, I believe, $26 somewhere, $26, $28. I can't quite remember, but I will leave a link to this down in the description. I believe right now it's about around $35, $40, somewhere in there. Could be less because, you know, it is the holidays. So I will leave a link to that down in the description for you guys. Um, I haven't lost service or anything. I, run, I use my Sirius XM radio all the time and it works good and I haven't lost connection or anything neither with my Bluetooth so it looks pretty good got the carbon fiber on there as well I love it get a truck a much different look let's look at it from far back yes sir now this next mod I definitely was not expecting to do this it was just something that kind of came about because I wanted to put rock lights under my truck and I didn't want to put it put the rock lights on the bare bottom on the metal on the truck so what I did was I got me some rear wheel well liners guys i have the husky wheel well liners this is honestly i was not expecting to get these i always thought this was a waste of money to be honest but i can definitely tell how much it makes the truck look a little bit better back in the back it just give it a much finished look and honestly guys you can get this for a steal i got these off of market off the facebook marketplace for 60 dollars i know that, that was i got it for a steal and they were brand new the guy didn't want them he had them on his truck well, he was about to put him on the truck. He never put him on the truck. He ended up selling the truck. So I was able to get him for $60, a brand new set of Husky liners for $60. And I think right now you can get them on sale on Amazon right now for less than 100 So if I was you guys, you're in the market for some for some wheel well liners, I would look on Amazon right now. You might be able to find you a steal. I know they got the Rough Country kinds. You can get the Rough Country. They're about $89. That was the one I was originally going to get just because they're cheaper. I didn't really want to spend a lot of money. But when I seen the Huskies, the Huskies look a lot better to me anyway. But... I mean, for sixty dollars, who wouldn't do that? All right, so the next mod is actually under the hood. Um, I'm not gonna pop. I was, yeah, let's pop the hood. Why not? Being that the next mod is under the hood, and it is the air filter. It's right here, the air filter. Let's see. You can uh, pop that off real quick. Yes, it is the air filter. I changed out my air filter <laughs> instead of going with a cold air intake. Just because I felt like cold air intake, intake wasn't really worth the money. Um, it definitely, I'm not going to say it gave it a very much noticeable change, but it did do a little something, I guess, in a way. I will say that much. So, um, you can get that actual filter right there for $80, I believe. Somewhere around now, I'll leave a link down to the video to that. You can watch that video as to why I actually decided to get a high flow air filter instead of the cold air intake. 
I mean, it is what it is. I'm not expecting much. I wasn't expecting much gains from it, but I wanted to do away with the stock air filter and put a high flow filter in. You may you may see like a additional three horsepower, maybe somewhere in there. Not much. So, but, all right. So this next mod, it got somewhat to do, somewhat. I guess you could say a uh, performance mod, but it's not much that I can really show. I can show you before and after sound bites. But so that is the linear resonator. I paid fifty dollars to get my resonator deleted. It made the truck a lot. A little bit more louder um, it felt like it the truck actually felt like it could breathe a little bit better you can get that done at your local muffler shop get them to cut it off or you can do it yourself if you know what you're doing just get you a hacksaw whatever but um, I also put in before and after sound bites Sticking with the exhaust, let's go with a mod that I haven't did, but I've seen some guys who have done it. A muffler delete, you can do that. That'll save you some money instead of getting the exhaust, but it all depends on what you like and what you prefer to do. And there's the muffler and tailpipe we cut off. There it is, right there. So let's move back to the outside of the truck. Let's talk cosmetic things that you can do for under a hundred dollars. Now, me, you can do a little DIY project. <laughs> Just don't hope it don't look shitty like mine's. Mine actually started to peel and it looked very shitty. I can't wait to fix this up. It looks terrible. But what you can do, like I mentioned in my previous video, just make sure you get a good clear coat, man. I did not have a good clear coat. Do not buy the perfect match clear coat. That clear coat is terrible. It is trash so do not buy that or you can go another route you can buy vinyl overlay that's what i see a lot of guys do they have the vinyl overlay or you can just um what's this called plastic dip that's what it's called <laughs> took me a minute to figure that out but yeah you can do plastic dip that's what i see a lot of guys did but on this side over here it actually looks pretty good it looks pretty damn good it held up pretty good uh unlike the other side now the other side i lost the badges so i'm only going to show you this side you can diy it I did it. it actually came out pretty good like I mentioned just get you a good clear coat and you should be fine this mod here that I'm actually mentioning right now uh, you can do this I have rock lights on my truck but it's not the actual brand so I'm gonna keep it mods that you can do under a hundred dollars so some of these are so well this is right here what I mentioned is not the same as Brandon's I do and right now my fuse is blown so I can't show you my rock lights but if you want to add rock lights to your truck you can go on Amazon and there are rock lights under there you can get like a a 20 piece rock light set for like less than 100 or 14 12 piece set for less than 100 and they do just fine so on that note guys that is all of the mods that i can tell you about that's under 100 dollars that would be great for you and your truck for your f-150 whatever you're driving i don't know but they've been pretty good for me and on that note if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button subscribe to the channel man you enjoy the content here and I'm pretty sure you will. I hope you do anyway. But if you made it here all the way to the end, you're a real one. And I appreciate you. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. We out of here.